and ambition. And I think so, a country like Senegal and Ghana can have the same thing because uh, you cannot have a legend like uh, us and you don't have like uh, good infrastructure, good infrastructure and for good facilities. Nice one. Nice one. That's why you're making a good players like us, baby. <laughs> you know him, he needs no introduction. Uh, that's the man himself. Yeah. I can be a good journalist, but Charlie, we, 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 we have to wake up. We have to wake up. Morocco is doing something it's incredible. And I have my man here, Mr. Tony Bafo. We came from Ghana, and what we've seen here, Mr. Tony. When are we getting our Hall of Fame? Where are you going to be inside? And of course, the maestro Abdi Pele, yeah. Anthony Boa, yeah. Reverend Oseko Fidems. Mm -hmm. Inshallah, we we'll get there. We shall get there. Yeah. We must get there. And we, we 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 have to execute it, not with the with the with the map. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. So Action speaks louder than words. Thank you. Thank you. So because I've spoken enough. What we are seeing here is great. Like just watch. Hey, that's the football museum right here. <laughs> These people are not joking, man. We have to execute it. Look. Look at what Morocco is doing. So, <laughs> when they do well in the World Cup or in African Cup, it's not by fluke. They are serious. Yeah. I'm not saying we are not serious, but we have to. We have to learn. We have to learn. And it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Look at what is happening. Nobody is perfect, but sometimes we have to show these things to motivate. Mm. We are we are giants. Yeah? We are giants in football. Right? <laughs> what I'm seeing here yeah, is incredible. Incredible. Incredible, man. It's not done, eh? We are going. Adi? She? It's coming here, man. We are here in Morocco, and what we are seeing here is. As incredible we, as yeah. we said you know um, uh, i'm not surprised mm. seeing them uh, they're in the, the final of afcon under 23 they went to the semi-final of the world cup 2022 in qatar mm. obviously seeing what they have done what they have achieved and what they're trying to achieve is just incredible being in morocco today being in, uh, in raba we'll be going to tanje very soon looking at their museum why can't we not do I'm not asking our government to do something as big as what Morocco must do because yeah. Morocco is a royal, don't yeah. forget, it's, it's a kingdom. Mm. They, have a, they have a king mm. who is ready to follow, but we have a government, our president, our leaders. Mm. All what we are asking you is come together so we can help our community, we can help our youth through sports. This is the only one thing that we all know. There is one language that I speak in Ghana. I don't speak tree, I don't speak Ga, I don't speak whatever. But I speak with football. Thank you. Football is a language. Football doesn't have a barrier. So we have to come together and find a way and see. We are not asking you people to do something similar or the same as Morocco, but let's follow them and do something as small as it can so that we can also improve, we can also go forward. As we are talking, look look at the background. Like, look at the background. This is the museum. You see, I'm seeing players here that I have in my head of. It's just, you know, it's a memorable in 100 years. You just say that you like it or not. But don't you, you see, don't you think it's so sad seeing uh, both players who just go like that, like in, in Africa? That's what I'm saying. Like, like I grew up, I grew up knowing the name of Anthony Yeboa. Up to today, I'm trying to find a museum where I can find his shirt to buy or to see his video. I can't see anything in Ghana. That is, that is sad, which means our youngsters in 10 years, in 20 years, in 30 years, they will not even know who is Asamajan. Let me get it right. Asamajan is the, as we stand now, is the top goal scorer Africans in the World Cup. That alone is an achievement for the country. Yeah. Enough for Asamajan's family, 
not for anybody, but for the country and especially for the Ghanaians. So this thing has has to be encrypted some way, somewhere. So at some point, the kid can go and get motivation and get and get enthusiasm and get envy to do to follow as a much as that. Otherwise, it's, we are a dead country. Wow. So me for me, I don't. What steps do we we need, we need to take? Come together. Mm -hmm. Obviously, talk to the former players of Ghana and come together and see what we can do. Go to city government, ask for audience, and tell them this is our project. We want to do a museum so that we can talk. They can the museum can talk about old players because remember the young will grow and the old the, the old will pass. Yeah. At some point, Anthony Yeba play football. Anthony uh, Anthony Buffett play football. Uh, Frank Amankwa play football. Abedi play football. Samia Kufa play football. But today they are not playing any. So so go on. So for me, it's very important for all these kids. Either they don't like Asamajan, they will like Abedi Pele. If they don't like Abedi Pele, they will like Anthony Bafoui. If they don't like Anthony Bafoui, they will like whoever like. Through the history, the through the history of the person, yeah. they can follow up and and impute the the the, the, the street and they can be something tomorrow for the future. As we are talking about football, it can be the same for basket, it can be the same for tennis, it can be the same for boxes and boxes because in Ghana you guys have a lot of things going on. You guys have boxes in Ghana that fight around the world in boxing for the country. So you are, you are trying to say that museum is very important? It's very important to talk about history, otherwise how, like today now, I grew up knowing Marco Kano as an idol, but to be honest with you, in Togo, I don't even know none of the idol, none of the uh, iconic players. Because there is no museum, there is nothing to talk about them, there is no achievement. Mm. Even if you're Moroccan, there are names, plenty names here. You can see Abdurazak, Mohamed, El Kwagla. Yeah. You understand? There is a lot of names, and even if you don't know them, you come and read about their, 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 their story and what they have done and what they have achieved. And that, that person can actually give you a little bit of envy to achieve the smallest as it can be in your life too. Wow. It's, it's just crazy. So you are, you are educating, right? you see the comments, right? you are educating. No, it's, 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 it's very simple and that's why whenever I come to Ghana, I always try to help as much as I can and I will never stop to my last breath. But we all have to come together and help as one, as a family. What Morocco are doing is just incredible. I'm, I'm amazed. Wow, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm really amazed. Wow. Thank you, thank you, Shehi. And we have another legend here. Uh, you know, introduction, Kalusha. Kalusha. How's it? Uh, what, 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 what we've seen here is, yes. is, is incredible. Yeah, and, uh, what do you what do you say about this? No, I think it's, it's important also. Um, yeah, like Morocco, like. The, the black stars some yeah. of the people they don't know the history mm. uh, some of us we know more the history of the black stars than the people who live there yeah <laughs> and i think that uh, to document uh, the history of the black stars and how they've been able to be champion in africa mm. i think that would be a good thing that should be a good start before then they incorporate all you guys uh, big big shout out to my brother Daddy Pele there <laughs> Everybody in, uh, in Ghana, and you know, you know, to now we don't have a museum. You know, this generation come, yeah, <laughs> we don't have a museum to, to, to see all these things. Yeah. So, um, so what, what, what advice do you, do you think we, we can give to our No, I think that we should just emulate what they're doing here, uh, come and learn from uh, these guys. I think this is what. Uh, the partnership that they are talking about, we have to learn from each other. The moment that we open dialogue, uh, can be able to speak, like you have come here, and uh, people can be able to see. Uh, to see you come from there, and then we should share this uh, rich history. And Morocco has made history in terms of being the first uh, African team to reach the semi final. And, and so uh, then they must be doing something right. So let's learn from them, let's share the ideas, and that is why we're here. And then afterwards, we look forward. Baby Jet, there in, uh, in Accra, the Black Stars. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Ale, you see, reporting uh, from Morocco. Yeah, man, Charlie, you need to be serious. Man. You need to be serious and predictive. You have to learn from Morocco.
It's crazy what I'm seeing here. It's... Look. 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 Hey. It's crazy right here, man. We, we, we have to learn. We have to learn. You know, um, Morocco is doing an amazing job. And, uh, hey, we have to learn. We have to learn. Because it's so sad. You know, there are a lot of generations who have paid the way for us. And nobody know them. Nobody know them. And now, see Morocco. It's, it's crazy what I'm seeing here. You know, and uh, hopefully, yeah, we'll try and learn something. You know, and... Um, yeah, who you knows? Maybe we can start from this generation. Yes, I. Yes, I. Man. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, so, if anything, just go my page. I'll just post this to my page. And then we'll all learn from it.